Well, hello everyone. What's up? Well, I just got back from my first and only client today. It's around 10.30 a.m. Um, kind of looks very dark outside. It's probably going to rain within the next couple of days. Okay, so uh, I got a request from the Wally JP. He wanted me to um, make a video of comparing every single um, gas trimmer that I have and leaf blowers. Um, well, I'm going to say this now. I'm going to be kind of biased towards still because I think they're a lot better brand than what I actually own but uh, I guess what I'll do is I'm going to give you a little quick review of each and every individual one of them uh, start them up and see how they run and um, hopefully by next week or early October I'm going to think of be making a look an entire review series of uh, every single gas trimmer and leaf blower that I have and put it on HD I think that'll be really good if someone has come across this one of these models and would like a good review of them so I think it'll be a great video for everyone to enjoy alright so I guess I'll start off with the electric ones um, they're still there uh, the whipper snipper the 1980 black and decker model uh, haven't used it in like forever uh, if you saw that last video where I featured it that's the last time I filmed it. <clears throat> I got these uh, Black & Decker and Weed Eater electric trimmers. They serve me really well. Now for this FSE 60, uh, this is my only steel electric uh, trimmer that I got from the flea market. Uh, it does not have a working auto cut head, um, but I was thinking because I do have a little head from one of my trimmers uh, which is right over here uh, this originally came from one of my Shindewa models so um, I'm not sure if this actually will fit but it's worth a try anyway because uh, at least I have a free trimmer head here yeah, it looks like it has an auto feed most likely speed feed before I begin the trimmers, a lot of people are wondering why I have uh, this preference towards lawn boys and why do I have so many two-stroke models and not considering other models like a Snapper or Honda branded mowers and such. Well, I operate a commercial, well not a really a commercial, a residential lawn business. Uh, I do have 75 to 80 customers that I mow weekly, so this is why I'm so busy with uh, my work and not posting too many videos on YouTube but my machines generally run on average 8 to 10 hours a day so that is a lot of hours to put on some mowers so this is why I have so many so I can rotate them in between I have a preference towards two stroke models uh, because they have a higher power to weight ratio than a typical four stroke like this Briggs & Stratton and this uh, Tecumseh powered lawn boy uh, also, I like the fact that I have to mix the gas and the oil rather than doing changes. It's been already a year uh, since I owned this Briggs & Stratton and the <laughs> oil is really not the cleanest so I have to take out the oil and put some fresh ones so it can be a pain when you're doing this commercially. Alright, so that's it. So let's go with the trimmers now. Okay, so I guess we'll start off with the oldest one that I have. It's one of my plain Jane models. Uh, this is a 1995 Ryobi 700R with the venerable 31cc motor. Well, the 31cc is, has been around since the early 80s and it's been tried, tested, and true. It's pretty darn reliable uh, in my business. I operate it probably once every two weeks in between my uh, steel trimmers. Um, so that's the perks of it. The bad of it is that it takes 32 to 1 uh, gas oil mix as you see right over here so it burns a lot more dirtier than you know the 50 to 1's. Um, also it's pretty loud and smoky as you'll hear. Also the gas economy isn't the greatest. In, in a typical lawn business day for me uh, this Ryobi will empty out f around four average size lawns if a full tank. I'm not exactly a fan of the newer models because they seem to be using these crappy built, um, cheaply made 
Chinese home light engines and they're half cranked so they take a lot of starting to actually get one to fire. So if you're actually going into um, the lawn business, get an old Ryobi with this motor. Don't buy one like that from the big box companies like Home Depot because uh, uh, you're not doing yourself a favor. Okay, so like I said, it's our Ryobi 700R 31cc. Put it on choke. Pump a few times. And then we'll start it up for you. And there you go. Simple as that. Pretty good for a 16 year old trimmer. This one has direct drive. You can see it smokes. And that's it. Alright, so here is my other low end brand. It's a little bit better than the Ryobi 700R. So what you're looking at here is a 1998 Weed Eater XT600 with a powerful 24cc uh, gas engine. I say it's pretty powerful because it's been used in older uh, John Red models. So John Red is a pretty good brand to look into. Uh, so Weed Eater also makes Poulon and certain Craftsman models, so they're the same. Unfortunately, Weed Eater, the newer ones, again suffer the big box company syndrome and resorting to use one of these engines but this one here uh, let me tell you uh, this engine is pretty darn reliable and it's almost as powerful as my steel and you know coming from a steel owner that says a lot so I'll give you a little overview of it uh, this one uses a 40 to 1 gas oil mix, so slightly cleaner than the 700R I showed you. Um, actually gets a little bit better fuel economy. Uh, from a full tank I could probably do around uh, 6 lawns, so that's pretty good. Alright, so let's go start it up now. Okay, so put it on choke. Uh, this one hasn't been started in a couple of weeks. I do have some gas for it, not much, so I'm going to be winterizing it very soon. Okay, so thank goodness I have my tripod. Great, next. Okay, so the next low end brand that I have are home light models. So I have four of them. Uh, one of them is up in the country, the Z825SD. You can just check uh, fixing the mowers video and you'll see it. Uh, this one here is a 20699 UT model. Uh, this one does not work. Uh, it needs uh, some carburetor issues. I got this one at a flea market for $45. And here's my other two ones that I have, uh, which are currently working. I have the <laughs> cheap one uh, that you can get from Home Depot. I paid $130 for it. It's a straight shaft 26cc gas engine. It's been used on many brands like the Ryobi and Weed Eater. And you have a little 2000 model which is a 25cc, which seems to be a lot more reliable than this one. 
Well, you know, to be honest with you, since I owned it in 2009, a lot of people were telling me that this trimmer is not going to last. Well, let me tell me something. It's actually pretty reliable. It did break down last fall, and I kind of stupid to find out that it was just due to a bad spark plug. So, so I guess right now we're going to start them up and show you them. Okay, so I guess we'll start off with this one here. Uh, uses a 25cc, 50 to 1 gas oil mix. Didn't really use it all lot this uh, summer because um, the throttle cable broke on it and since I broke the uh, trimmer, uh, it doesn't have a working choke, so I have to manually use a screwdriver to fix the choke for you. Alright, so we'll start this up. Take my car keys. Uh, this one hasn't been started in around two months. <gasps> uh oh. Fuel lines. There we go. Oh, tried to fire. Okay. Wow, look at that. That's right, pretty quick for a home light. Especially sitting for that long. Also direct drive. Pretty sweet. So this one actually is one of my favorite ones. Now this one here, the main reason why I don't like this trimmer, because just just the way they mounted the throttle, it's a pretty stupid position. I rather would have liked to have it near there than over here. Just really cumbersome to use. So I guess it needs some gas. This one here is a UT21546A. It was built on June 25th, 2008. So it was brand new since 2009 that I got it. All right, so this one features the roto choke system, which I hate because unlike the other home light models that I have, this one does not have an air filter. So a lot of dirt will get stuck to the machine and it's not gonna run properly. All right, so let me go put some gas and we'll fire it up. Okay, got some gas in here. All right. Let's prime the system. Two, three, four, five, six. Hold the throttle. No. Cold natured. <laughs> ah, anyway, she does run. And also, what I don't like about these home light models is that the factory sets them way too lean so that way they can meet EPA emissions. All right, so on to the more upper class models. Uh, this one is kind of a little let down. It's not exactly has been reliable uh, in my lawn business here. Uh, this one here is a Shindewa model, 22F. That is made in Japan. You can actually see it. Yeah, there we go. This one here used to be clutch drive. Now I switch it over to direct drive since the shaft broke over the years. 
So this one here is a 2003 model with a 21.1 Kawasaki motor. So just this year had a lot of problems with it, uh, mainly with the ignition coil. Now I have another problem with it. I'll demonstrate it. It's not really idling. Well, I wouldn't say idling properly. Um, it's not exactly getting enough gas. I don't know why. Uh, the carburetor seems to be clean. Um, could it be the muffler issue, but you'll see it. All right, now I'm gonna have to rush because I'm gonna have to go to school very soon. So this one hasn't been started in a month and a half. Takes a lot of cranking, just like the good old days. There we go. Again, it takes a while to start. Yeah, so here's the problem. Yeah, anyway. It does run when it wants to. And my steel gas trimmers, never a problem with them. Probably one of the best models that I ever owned and they can really take the commercial use. Okay, so I have here a 2009 FS38, 2010 FS70 RC, and 2011 FS90R with the Formix engine. So both these two are 27cc. The only difference between this one and this one is that the FS70 has the double stratified engine, which seems to be a lot more quieter than this one. Not to mention this one. These steel models are really good on gas. Um, I remember my FS90R. I used it yesterday for nine lawns. No, at least, no, sorry, at least eleven lawns. The full tech of gas, it literally did all of them. So that's very, very good fuel economy for one. All right, so I guess we'll start them up one by one. FS38, as you can see. Since I fixed it, it's pretty good. Now, for the FS70, features the easy to start system. The only thing I don't like about it is that the flex crank shaft shakes the molten machine when you're revving it. What I do appreciate is Steel's semi-automatic choke. So all you have to do is you don't have to rev the engine. All you have to do is just uh, engage the throttle. Brings you down to run. And there you go. As you know, this one I replaced the string with a grass gator. Really awesome. All right, now for the FS90R. 28 cc motor. Oops, gonna have to prime it. Usually it's a one start wonder. Guess not this time. All right. Four stroke model. Really good. Alright, now for the blowers. 